Now I'd like to show you a case, Erica. This is an interesting case. So she came in, and this is something that's going to happen to all of you if you don't anticipate it. And so um, this is called the birth of the Ferrari. So let's show you what happened here. So she comes in. We had her wearing a Ferrari night appliance to prevent the clenching. We have her wearing a repositioning splint during the day. We put the clear brackets on. As I say, I don't like those metal on the clear brackets now. I like the neolucent bracket from Ortho Organizers better and Serum Ortho in Canada. So the neolucent brackets are translucent, are better than these. These are, these got metal on them and I don't like them. They're not that aesthetic. So I don't use these anymore. So with pacing at a lower split, and when we go into brackets, we put an 014 nickel titanium wire in the upper. And then we grind the back of the splint off to allow the eruption of the lower second molar. So that's what we do all the time. It looks like we lost position somewhere along the way here and we had to reline the existing splint with triad. Sometimes the patient doesn't have enough money after four months to go to phase two. And they keep wearing their splint, they wear it down, and then we have to add triad to the splint to get her back to the proper position. So this is fine, except that she's waking up with headaches, which shouldn't be a surprise to us because she was wearing a night appliance, the Ferrari appliance, and that was preventing the headaches. But now that I'm in straight wire, the Ferrari appliance doesn't fit anymore because the Ferrari appliance covered all the teeth, and now we've got brackets on the teeth, and the Ferrari appliance won't work. So she came to me and she said, look, Dr. Rondo, I was really happy when I was wearing the night appliance for stop clenching and bruxing and wearing the day appliance, which put my jaw in the right position. Now you put brackets on my teeth. I'm wearing my lower splint full time and I can't wear my upper appliance and I'm back in pain. What are you going to do about it? What's the solution? Well, the solution is you've got to make her another night appliance. So what I did is I took her existing for our appliance and cut the back off it and relined it and cut the, cut the top off it and relined it with triad as a temporary measure. So this is called a modified upper Ferrara plies. And she's only supposed to be contacting the lower central lateral incisors. And over here, you make sure you grind the acrylic, there's no contact here. And over here, it looks like initially there's contact, but I would go in there and grind that off now. So there's only contact because remember, that's the Ferrara appliance has contact only on the lower central lateral incisors, no posterior contact. But obviously, that's not a very comfortable appliance. But it, it did fine for a month. And then this was the birth of the Ferrari. Okay, the Ferrari is F A R R I A R I, Ferrari. And so then I devised the Ferrari. And the Ferrari is fantastic when you're going to use straight wire and you're going to want to have a patient stop their clenching and bruxing at night. So this has four ball clasps. It's very important. Don't put a ball clasp between the two central incisors. That's not the, where you want the ball clasp. Don't put it there. Put it distal to two centrals and distal to the cuspids. Okay, so you got the two ball clasps here, distal to the centrals and distal to the cuspids. And it's got a big incisal ramp, big ramp, hold the jaw forward, with an air hole, cut that out because you don't need that to be solid. You let the patient breathe through that if they get a cold or something, and the patient can breathe much better with that in. So that's the Ferrari. So that goes over the braces. So that can be worn with braces. Now here's the, here's the problem though. If you start the case and you put the brackets on and the teeth are crooked, if you make the Ferrari, the teeth will not level. So really, you might go through one or two months where the patient can't wear the Ferrari. However, if, if, you, if you see a patient that's got absolutely straight teeth, and you know the perfectly straight teeth, and they're going to go into braces, and they're going into phase two, you could always make the Ferrari right at the beginning of treatment. So make the Ferrari instead of the Ferrari. The Ferrari with the ball class will work fine when the patient's wearing the lower splint in phase one and will work great in phase two when you go into straight wire. 
The only problem being is if your upper teeth are crooked, you can't make the Ferrari. Or you'd have to grind the acrylic out from around here to allow the teeth to unravel, and it's kind of a tough deal. But sometimes we have to do that. Sometimes we have to put the ball class on and grind the plastic on the lingual of the upper incisors, which allows the teeth to unravel. And then you can stop the clenching and bruxing at night. But it's amazing when you think of it, if the patient's clenching and bruxing at night and, they, and you put an appliance in, you stop it, and then you put the braces on, they're still gonna start clenching and bruxing at night, you've gotta have a Ferrari. So the Ferrari has made my success rate go way up. Before I used the Ferrari, I, my poor patients would clench and brux on their day splint and, and, they, and, and they would have problems through phase two. So they would have symptoms all through phase two until I made them a, a, an, an anterior programmer when I took the braces off. But you have to stop the clenching and bruxing in phase one, you have to stop the clenching and bruxing in phase two or they're on a case finishing, and you have to prevent clenching and bruxing when the braces come off by making them a Ferrari or a Ferrar to wear at night after the treatment's finished. So if they're clenchers and bruxers, you've got to, you've got to keep an appliance in at all times. Having said that, sometimes patients are clenchers and bruxers when they're overclosed vertically. When you open the vertical and get the muscles the correct resting length, some patients don't clench and brux in phase two. But I always try to make a Ferrari to make sure I control that. So there you can see, it's a very nice appliance. We usually open the front by about four millimeters. So I would suggest some sort of a bite jig. I use the airway metrics, a little bite jig in the front, to open that four millimeters. Make sure there's no contact on the cuspids or the bicuspids, the molars, and you can see that's clear. And only contacting the centrals and laterals. Sometimes I'll put that in there and put some articulating paper in there and make sure they're hitting evenly because you don't want them to hit just one central because that'll be traumatic occlusion. So make sure that you, usually the lab does it correctly and you don't have to adjust it much, but I always check that out. So you got four ball class, distal of the centrals, distal of the cuspids, no posterior contact, lower incisor contact only, no cuspid contact. It's like an anterior bite plate, but it's got that ramp behind it. So it's got an incisal ramp with an air hole. So, Daytime, she's going to wear this. Repositioning splint, gradually grinding down the molars to erupt those and the bicuspids to erupt those, but she's going to keep wearing her Ferrari at night. And it can be worn with the straight wire. So that's the nice part. So this is, now she's going to be out of pain. Okay, but it took a patient in pain to complain to me to get us to figure this out. Most of the things we've done in dentistry is because the patients posed the problem, we had to come up with a solution. So the Ferrari is an excellent solution for you. When you're going from phase one to phase two, you need to have a night appliance, you need the Ferrari to prevent the clenching and bruxing in phase two, orthodontic case finishing. Okay, so I, I hope you enjoy that because that's, a, that's an appliance you're gonna to wanna to use. That's an appliance you have to think about using. So as I say, if the teeth are straight at the beginning of treatment, you can make the Ferrari for phase one. The Ferrari can be used for phase one and phase two. Okay? Thanks very much.